Leave. The story is uh, kind of like um, a story about a family, you know, they're a grieving family led by dad, Nate, and his two daughters. And, you know, they're both teenage daughters. They're grieving because their mother, his late wife, you know, passed. And I think their relationship has been strained. You know, the, the family, the remaining family, the relationship's been strained. He's trying to regain his, his uh, family. And the, the, especially the older daughter is not happy with how he, how, he, how he dealt with the last days of her mother's life. They take this trip to Africa where mom was from, the village that she was from, and dad thinks it's a great idea to sell her, like, hey, let's go back to where mom's from, let's perhaps rekindle while we're there. If you haven't been to Africa, this is a great film for you to see because you'll see how, like, they call it God's country, uh, South Africa, they call it God's country, and you see why. So we find ourselves in this beautiful landscape, going back to the village, where she comes from and when they get there that village has emptied there's no one there okay so what you learn is that there is a rogue lion and this isn't just any lion this lion happens to be a very large one when this thing hits the car you know you feel the car move now your average lion yeah but not this lion this lion's huge it's like and and we spend a lot of time sort of really giving the audience a sense of this lion's scale in its power. Also, what's interesting about this lion is that it's quite smart. You know, it's, um, it's thinking, it's calculated. In its nature, it's a predator, but this particular lion is kind of, I'm, I'm gonna go for these people. He's not going anywhere else, he's gonna just circulate on these people. We don't really understand why, but, you know, towards the end of the film, you get a sense of what's going on. When you separate those prides, you have these alpha males that otherwise would be part of a group, the ecosystem is intact, the, the female lions, lionesses go out and hunt, the male lions protect the pride, they stay together intact. When you separate them out, you create these rogue lions. And this is an examination of what happens when a rogue lion discovers who the real enemy is and the real enemy is man. What we examine next is, you know, survival. You know, this animal in this small radius of the village, just outside the village, this is the animal's uh, territory. This lion, that's his territory. And it's his territory because he's rogue. He doesn't want anyone else coming in there. And he doesn't want any humans destroying, you know, his, his landscape. So. This is where um, the, the, the bulk of the movie stays and we, and we follow Nate and the girls as they try to survive. There is deafening silence, if you will, because they're looking around trying to figure out where the beast is and they don't know. And you hear the sounds of the bush and the bush is alive, but you know that there's something out there that is hunting you, that is looking for you, that wants your blood. When you're sitting in a theater and you can feel the tension that they're going through, you literally can see the sweat dripping off the actors as they look across a moonlit savanna. And then you see just a shadow and you wonder, what was that? Is it just trees rustling or is that the beast that is coming? Will Packer and I are always sort of, you know, wanting to work with each other and find projects that stretch us and continue the sort of legacy he and I have. And when he brought me this script, <laughs> you know, I was like, really, Will? Okay, we're going here. And, you know, for us, this is a new type, type of film. We've done thrillers before, but this steps into a slightly different realm, you know? For me, the, the beast, if you could say so, is a metaphor for the hardest thing to overcome is to get your children back in your life after a trauma like that. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, and overcome and in the end protect them and be the man. I think it's a first. Okay, yeah, we've seen films where it's uh, the antagonist is a beast or animal or whatever, and we've seen, you know, being chased, but this has a dynamic which merges both this family dynamic, which you're def definitely invested in, uh, alongside the thriller aspects of this, this animal and the chase. And the thrill ride doesn't stop. What I really wanted to do is to shoot this in the wild. You know, so you could feel and smell and the visceral, how it is to be there. You, you know, there are, there are snakes, there are crocodiles. It's, it's a real place. And I think it pays off. I think you will feel 
that you are there with this family and, and in the heat and in, in the kind of this, this mess, you know. This is something that we wanted to go and really be in the environment so that you could feel it. So you could have these wide scopey shots that really made you feel like you were there. And this is Baltazar saying, I've got a vision that I want to bring the viewer inside this world. And I also shot the movie a lot in like long one shots. So I would give you the feeling you can't get out of there. So our director, Baltazar Comaker, he did an amazing job with creating a energy around this film. It was something that was very, very important. We knew that we were gonna have a family in peril. We made a very specific decision to shoot in Africa, in South Africa, deep in the bush of South Africa. This is not a green screen. Nate is a doctor, played by Idris Elba, uh, and, and, uh, and he, he's uh, not in a great place in his life. He's uh, separated from his wife. He has a bit of a drinking issues. He does whatever he can to, you know, try and get his family safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, he doesn't know how to use guns. Uh, that's not his thing, but he will. Uh, he's not a fighter, but he'll try and, you know, fight for his kids. So I think in this movie, he really is stretched to, you know, to save his kid's life. <laughs> Pass with a gun. Come on. Okay. Alright. Come up, kiddo. Oh, 